Instagram was such a photo heavy app. And now it's like, if you're not doing video, if you're not making reels, TikTok, if you're not doing video, YouTube shorts, you got to be making short form content. It's like constant, like all this short form content, but whatever we're here. When it comes to social media, there's all these strategies, there's algorithms, there's what should you be posting? Is it reels? Is it photos? Is it posts? Is it mix? Is it like you hear it all? Today, I want to show you exactly how to make those looping videos, like the perfect loop where you don't even know it skips. You just keep watching the same video over and over again. This is just a tutorial on how to create this exact, the perfect looping video for your short form content. So we're gonna walk through it. I'm gonna show you exactly how to create it in the editing software. Today I am using Premiere Pro, but you can really use any software program or even your phone to create something like this. And I'm gonna show you and walk you through and you'll see once we get into it, how easy it is. It's super easy. So, but I wanted to take you like the full creation process here. So we're gonna, we're gonna first go out, shoot some content, and then we're gonna bring it back in here. It's gonna be more like a chill vibe video, loop, seamless. Sound good? Shirt number two, actually number three. Uh, this is part of their leisure club and now my son just came back out ah. so when shooting there's no like real specific way you shoot like you want kind of one drawn out clip whether it's you walking up into place or whatever that's going to start the sequence but also a good way to end the sequence so outside of the sound design that's really like the foundational clip that you need when creating a looping video so just keep that in the back of your mind when you're shooting everything else can be kind of the same as you always would like whatever the content is geared around today it's geared around these this clothing brand so really just trying to focus on the clothing itself and getting some tight, medium, wide shots to really showcase the brand, the material, and how it can be used while climbing red rocks. <laughs> We're almost done here. I'm gonna get a few more shots and then we'll head back and that's it. Like super quick. This could take like an hour of your day to create a really good, real YouTube short, TikTok. Okay, so I got I got these same static shots. I have three different shirts that I'm trying to represent in these shots. So essentially I tripoded the shot off. I have my song selected. We're gonna use both an instrumental version as well as a uh, lyrical version. Uh, lay those on top of each other because I don't want all lyrics all the time. I kind of want that the music to hit. So I'll show you how to do that. We have our clips, our three clips that we're going to use. And now I just want to bring in my music. There's two subscriptions I use for mu for music. It is Musicbed and Artlist. Uh, Artlist, I do have like two months off if you're interested. Link down below. So let's pull those audio tracks in. I'm just going to trim it to be about... 30 seconds because for reels or TikTok or YouTube shorts, like the max, yes, is 60 seconds, but really like I try to keep them between 15 seconds and 30 seconds. So this one, we're going to try and aim for those time frames, and we'll just see what we get. But um, we're just going to find a portion of the song that we really like. It's just super chill vibe. Dig it. Here's to many nights under the stars wherever you go. Wanna be where you are, and you should know. You should know. I don't wanna go. So that's probably where I'll like kick and transition into the uh the music and try and like figure out a way to loop this audio because that's kind of where it starts is the audio you have to have if you are using a song if you're not using a song it's way easier but if you are using a song you need to find a point in the music 
that is going to seamlessly kind of transition. So we'll zoom in here and I'll show you kind of how to do that. So here we go. We're going to bring these up. These are my two tracks laid over each other. Uh, we have a lyrical version and uh, an instrumental version. So this one is our instrumental. The top one is our lyrical. Uh, and I really like how this starts out. But I might put this at the end just so it like seamlessly comes in. And I'll show you how to do that. So let's try that. And we can play with it. We'll see how this works. Um, I think I like that better because it'll be a, a better seamless intro. Yep. And that's where we're going to kick off the beginning. So I muted that, the lyrical version, just to like get a sense of like, okay, what is this going to sound like? Now what we're going to do, we're going to kind of cut it where it does this deep dive. You can see there, and that's where it kind of tones down. So we're going to do a, a full cut there. And we probably won't even use the rest of the song. Like just won't even matter. So we'll have to do some fading and like, some cool audio transitions, but you can see like we're sitting right at 27 seconds here. It might be a little bit too long, um, but we'll fade this in and we should be right around the 30 second mark. So you can see like, right, those kind of have the same beat right there. So we're going to bring these below so we can line them up. Oh, that was money. That was money right there. Do you see that? Oh, that was so good. Okay. I didn't even, like pff, one take. Ding, right right into it. Okay, so watch this. So we're just going to in and we're going to go in this way. We can kind of test our audio piece here. Let's see what we get. Bring back the lyrical version of this in the beginning because that's I want that audio in there. And then so we're going to add some keyframes kind of towards the end because I want that to fade back in at the end. We're making I mean, this is going to go quick. This is this kind of why like this is one of those creative processes with with creating creative process with creating. Um, this is one of the fun parts of creating is just like messing around with different audios and and finding ways to make things work. It's like a puzzle. So the viewer will never even know you started it over. So I think that's good. Like, let's just stick with that. Uh, we could fine tune a little bit more, but I think we're good to go for the purpose of this video. You get the idea. Um, all right, now let's bring in our footage. We're going to X out them in and out. If I did it right, each scene should be pretty much the same. So first cut is going to be black, green, and then another cut to yellow right there. We're going to make this a little quicker. Now these videos should kind of be synced up with what I was doing, but we'll just disable these and see if they flow a little bit. Kind of shows off the shirt a bit. And that's the whole goal with this, with this video is to really showcase the different shirts. So we're going to pull this clip past where we're starting. So this is my starting point here where we're going to bring in the clip. And what I'm going to do is just cut at this point and we're going to now bring this back to our starting point. We're going to drag this to the end of the project and that's going to be our very end clip. Okay. Now we need to focus on the front here. So we kind of get the idea, like right at the beginning, I wanted to know that we're talking about three different shirts here. We're kind of bringing in three different colors. We got the black, the green, and the yellow. And then we can drag out the clips a little bit longer to kind of play the scene. And really this is just like, again, this is just like a chill vibe, super quick. We're going to kind of wrap the ending that we've stuck way over here. We're going to bring that in, cross dissolve there. So again, just like plugging and playing here. And we'll kind of make it a little bit more seamless here. Ooh, I think we're there. Let's check it, check it out though. Pretty straightforward. Like I kind of had a vision in my head when I was making this. So like it goes pretty quick once you have that kind of idea. And I had this song picked out or I knew like the vibe I wanted for this. This was just like super chill. Uh, we're going to loop this and see what it looks like. Here we go. Here's to many nights under the stars Wherever you go I wanna be where you are And you should know You should know That even if our times get hard There's not a day we'll be apart So you should know You should know
there you have it. So that's the that's the loop video. Uh, now what I will do is like edit this for a nine by sixteen frame, uh, which takes a little bit more. Like I'm going to track myself, and that's a whole nother video. So the key elements of this video, when you're doing this, when you're creating this type of video, is to really think about the audio track, how you're going to blend it, how you're going to mix it, and you can mix it. Like you take the beginning and put it at the end and then just mix the, the midsection. Uh, that way it kind of flows seamlessly. But you got to find those points like we did here. So that, the music is first. That's what I always start with. And then once I find my clips, I just find like one that I know is going to work to fade in at the end, but also work to start the video. Just have fun with it. Again, like I'm, I'm just going to harp on it, like be creative. That's the whole point of social media platforms is just to like create for yourself. Instagram reels. This is a fun way to create Instagram reels. So I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys being here. Hit that subscribe button, like all the things helps the algorithm helps us grow as a community. I love you guys. We'll see you in the next one. And sorry for this wicked cold. Reminds me of like friends with Monica. A vibe. A vibe. It's fine. I'm just going to create a YouTube video. It's going to be fine. It's going to be great, they said. <laughs> so dumb. All right. Peace. Here's to many nights under the stars. Wherever you go, I want to be where you are. And you should know.